Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm taking a little break from the plethora of Temtem videos to take a look at another monster collection, Pokemon-esque game called Coralmon. This isn't the first time we've explored this game, but because of the days leading up to Temtem, we haven't really been able to talk about this game as much as I would have liked to. So today we're going to go over the recent Coromon trailer that was released earlier this month and break down my thoughts and opinions on it. I was also able to get in contact with the developers of Coromon via the Facebook page and I was able to ask them some questions regarding the game. We'll be going over those questions after we get through the trailer. So right off the bat, you'll notice that it is very reminiscent to the DS style of Pokemon, particularly that of Diamond and Pearl. It is by no means a carbon copy, however, it definitely has its own unique art style, which I quite like. It's very charming to say the least. So here we see some sort of ice cavern with a sliding puzzle, which I love these puzzles, so I'm actually really happy about. We also see here that there is a surfboard to traverse the water instead of using an HM. And then here we see that you can move logs with what appears to be the gauntlet you're given towards the beginning of the game. The gauntlet, for those of you who don't know, is an item in which you equip, which can hold your spinners that are used to collect Coromon. Think of it like the Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers, but with devices that hold your monsters in each slot instead of Infinity Stones. Judging by the board and the animation used to move the logs, I think it is safe to say that there won't be any sort of HM equivalent and instead items will be used to unlock previously blocked off areas. So we got ledge hopping and tall grass with a diverse uh, range of areas to explore from a forest to a cave to a swamp to an autumn mountainside to a farmland to a snowy mountain. I love the different elements present in this trailer and I think that the wide array of areas within the game will keep it feeling fresh and make each uh, distinct area more memorable. Here we get to look at some of the Coromon that we'll be encountering, and might I say, I'm feeling these designs. I haven't seen a design in this trailer that I don't find appealing. The developers clearly found a formula that could create these old school animated sprites and make them feel extremely alive. Shout out to this two-headed dog and shimshell over here, y'all gotta be mine. So here we get to see our first glimpse of how the Coromon equivalent to Shinies work. This system I think is by far the best I've seen, beating Pokemon and Temtem easily. With Pokemon, a Pokemon just has a chance to be shiny, stats don't matter. In Temtem, the Luma forms have three perfect stats, but that's pretty much it. In Coromon, there are three versions of every Coromon. Standard, which is your just typical base Coromon. Potent, which is one with better stats. And then Perfect, which I'm assuming is just a perfect one. So basically in Coromon, the monsters with the higher stats are the shiny ones. This in my opinion is the best method as every shiny you find will actually be good and useful. And the chances would pretty well be the same because you're not rolling twice, once for IVs and once for shinies. The, the roll is completely the same. Also, if you see here, it looks like wild triple battles are a thing similar to horde encounters from Pokemon X and Y. So that's pretty cool as well. Here we get to see some more monsters which look absolutely amazing in my opinion and then we get introduced to the spinner which you'll use to capture these monsters. Then we get a look at what looks like to be one of the game's bosses, which I believe there are six of, and then the trailer ends with the title screen. So I've got to say that this game is really shaping up to be a great experience, especially for those who want to recapture the magic of old school creature collection. It's slated for release during the second quarter of this year, and to be honest, I can't wait. It's great to see more and more creature collection games that feature turn-based combat popping up, 
we're really seeing this become a genre of its own. So whether you like Pokemon, Digimon, Temtem, Monster Crown, Yokai Watch, Doki V, or of course Coralmon, it's fantastic to see that we have so many games on the horizon. So before we wrap up, I wanted to go over some information that everyone might find interesting to know leading up to the release of Coromon. When we get an official date of launch, I do want to have a Coromon week where we do a Coromon every single day leading up to launch. So I'll definitely be waiting on that announcement. But until then, I had the absolute pleasure of asking some questions to the developers and they were super forthcoming with information. So I figured I'd just go over them here. My first question was, roughly how many Coromon are planned for final release? Uh, their response, at the moment we have 118 Coromon planned for the game. This includes all of the evolutions. All 118 can be obtained through a single playthrough. Question two, are there any plans for PvP? If the game is a success, we will first add multiplayer functionality. Number three, are there any plans for more types? Just uh, for context, there are currently six types. Uh, the response, after adding multiplayer functionality, we would also like to add more types. Number four, any plans for post-release content and or a sequel? Response, if the game does really well, we will definitely add either a DLC or a complete sequel. Number five, roughly how much will the games cost at launch? Response, the game will be somewhere between the range of $5 to $15 on Steam. However, the price is not final. So yeah, we got a lot of information about the games from that exchange, and I'm glad to see that they're open to the idea of continuing the franchise should it be successful. And I'm extremely happy that they're looking into adding a PvP as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments about Coromon. Have you played the free demo on Steam? If so, what's your take? Is this the first you've heard about the game? What do you think of the art style, the monsters, etc.? This game has got me extremely intrigued to say the least, and I can't wait to find out more about it. Anyways guys, I left the link to uh, Coromon's Facebook page, the Steam demo, and the trailer in the comments below, so make sure to check them out. And of course, make sure to subscribe for more creature collecting content. And until next time, peace.